Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, we'll be looking at how to manage your Avada licenses on the support and license management portal, my.avada.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. I'm on avada.com here, and there is a link at the top right to my Avada. If you haven't yet registered for an Avada account, watch the How to Register for My Avada video linked below for more information on that process. In any case, I will just log in here. And this takes us to the My Avada dashboard. For a full rundown on all the features available on this site, please see the How to Use My Avada video, also linked below. But for this video, we're going to specifically look at one of the main functions, the management of your Avada licenses. In the How to Register for My Avada video, I use the Import from Envato option to pull all my licenses into my account, and I can see them in the Account Summary at the top here. There's also a section below this giving us a quick overview of the most recent licenses. But to manage all my licenses, there is a Manage Licenses link here, or I can head to Licenses from the menu at the top. OK, let's take it slowly and have a good look around. There is a lot of functionality in a small area here. To start, we can see a search field and some filters here. We can search for an Avada license by domain name or purchase code. So if I just search for Avada, it filters to my Avada Garden website. I'll just clear that to see all of them again. I can also filter by the license status. The choices here are All, Available, Active and Locked. If I filter to Locked, I don't have any. But if you do, you'll see a form to contact us to resolve that issue. OK, let's come back to All. On the right hand side of the filters is a Refresh All button. This will refresh all the licenses, checking if any of them have been recently registered or unregistered etc on any sites. So now let's look at an individual license and what options you have to manage it. OK, so if I look at the first license here, we can see the purchase code, the license status and the date the license was purchased. Under that we can see a line for the live domain the license is connected to and one for a staging site. So here I can see the license is connected to a live domain, and there is a link icon here. Now under the terms of the license, an Avada license is valid for one single website project. But as a gesture of goodwill on our part, we allow you to reuse it for a new project, dependent of course on the old site being fully taken down. So normally, if you want to reuse a license, you would unregister Avada directly on the site you no longer wanted, and then remove the site. Coming back to my.avada.com, and refreshing the license would then show it as available and you could then use it on another site. But what if you deleted the old site without unregistering it first? In that case you could come here and let the system know that the license is no longer in use. So what this link icon does is to unregister the license for that domain here on my.avada.com. I can also see a refresh button on the right here as well. If we unregistered this purchase code from this domain and then used it to register another site, we could then come here and click this refresh button and it would then update and show the license link to the new site. The line for a staging site is there because you can use each purchase code for both a main domain and a staging site. I don't have a staging site set up for this domain and so there are no details showing. But if there was, it would be the same as the live domain above. Please see the how to set up a Nevada staging site doc linked below for more details on that. OK, there's one more little icon here at the top right of each license, the trash icon. If I click that, a dialogue comes up explaining that deleting the license will only remove it from your MyAvada account. As it says here, this feature should only be used if you need to transfer the license to a different account. An example of that might be an agency giving the purchase code to an end user so they can add it to their own account. There are two remaining things we haven't looked at yet. The first one is the little blue question mark here. Well, that's a link to this video. And next to that is the Add New License button. This has the same functionality found when creating a My Avada account. You can add a new license by entering a single purchase code here, or you can import from Envato. If I click that link, a window appears asking me to sign in to the Envato API. To do this, you just use your normal ThemeForest credentials. I'll just enter my details and sign in. This brings me to another window asking me to authorize my Avada to connect with my account. It shows me what permissions are given, and these are the bare minimum to get the purchase codes. So I have to click Approve here. 
Another window pops up, and then quickly closes, and we are back on my Avada with a message. If there are no new licenses to be added, you will see this message, that all Avada purchases on ThemeForest are already added to this account. If there are any new licenses available, we instead get a message that a new license or licenses have been added to the account. OK, that's how to manage your Avada licenses. There's also an Avada licensing and registration FAQ doc, so if you have any questions, see that. And if your query has not already been answered here, it's probably in there. Also remember to watch the How to Use My Avada video to get a walkthrough on all the other parts of the My Avada site. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.